Welcome back, y'all. I know, I know. I got some uh, boxes here. Looks like I got a run of three. So let's get cracking. The first one is a little one. Dunhill mixture, I think that's supposed to be baby's bottom. 1938, 1938. That one, uh, I got that one to open and sample. In case I like it, there's a sleeve. I think you call these sleeves. I would call them sleeves. Oh, so I got that bad boy. Where did I get this from? I don't remember. South Carolina. Whichever whichever place is in South Carolina. Now we got looks like somebody opened this one. Oh no, that's the post office mail. I don't know why they send stuff priority. I don't mean the stuff I order, but I mean in general because where I'm at, it doesn't matter if you send it priority or not, it's gonna get here when it gets here. Uh, just the nature of the beast, I guess. This is yep, more tobacco. So, got one to open Dunhill Flake. Another one to open, Elizabethan. And another one to open, Durbar. I uh, wasn't going to <clears throat> actually open up the Durbar, the, the sleeve I got of that, until I saw the um, video from Justin Taylor and he I think I mentioned that in the last box opening, but anyway, he loves the stuff, so I went ahead and ordered that, and there it is. Another McClellan blend. Bombay Extra. Personal Reserve. I think all of these brown gold labeled ones are called Personal Reserve. But anyway, Got that one to sample, and I got this one to sample. Escudo Navy Deluxe, a choice and unique blend, scientifically manufactured. Wow, scientifically. Doesn't sound very appealing, does it? Uh, what is this? I guess this is a vapor here. Virginia and Perique. There we go. And I got a sleeve of that. You know, a lot of y'all are ahead of me on the uh, on the cellaring side of things, because honestly, I never knew that sort of thing was possible. If that that's the kind of thing that uh, makes you know your tobacco better. But apparently, it is. So I'm getting in on the game, as y'all have seen. And. Here's our last package. Now this is, this is the Cigars Daily Package. This is kind of a small box. And if everything is in here, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed because, you know, as I mentioned, I had ordered a, a humidor. Now it was, a, granted, a small humidor, but I guess I didn't realize how small. <laughs> I didn't pay attention. Uh, but anyway, what do we got here? I think I got a bunch of different okay, samples. This one, is this a sampler, uh, Liga sampler? What do we got in here? We have, uh, anyway, I'll show you guys that. The 
this is um, there's Olivia Siri G, I guess. Robusto. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm already at five minutes. Where's the camera? There it is. This the, do, shooting this way and direct to YouTube, the, the video quality is not as good, but it's it's better for me. And something. I guess these were uh, maybe these were the um, these two guys look the same. They have little pigtails on them. And this guy. I don't know what those were. I guess I'll have to look through the. Um, here we go. Nah, I don't know. That's too much for me. All right. Next, um, we got a couple of uh, sun-grown undercrowns here. I don't know if you can see that. A couple of, uh, what are these, 858s? Yeah. Maduro 858s. I've had these in the natural. I really enjoyed those. And here we go with um, Gilberto Olivia Nicaragua Reserve Churchills. Two of those. Anyway. And here comes. These all look like Maduros. Undercrown. I think that's. A, I think that's still considered Undercrown. Maduros. The this one is the La Creme. Two of those guys and the Koopa Cabra Hellcat. Koopa Cabra Hellcat. If you guys can see that. Anyway, in the bag. And here comes the little humidor. Now I knew it was little, but I guess I didn't anticipate it being this this small. After the fact, I think I wish I had have gotten one with a glass top just so I could see, you know, the, what do you, how do you say it, hygrometer through the top of it, but I didn't. So anyway, this is a little um, burl finished. Uh, I believe this is some sort of a, uh, a quasi-laminate type of thing. I don't think this is actual burl lamp. Uh, veneer but anyway a little cheap cheap guy little uh, foam humidifier and yeah this is um, this is actually a very cheap box I'm I wasn't expecting much and that's a good thing because it looks like that's what I got I don't know if I'm actually going to use this or not this box is, is made out of uh, medium density fiberboard. Maybe the website said that, I don't remember, but uh, not happy with getting a, uh, a fiberboard humidor. Not happy at all. Seems to have a decent, you know, seal, but in the scheme of things, not happy at all. So that's that. There's the box openings. And uh, this is, oh, and by the way, this is supposed to, as I mentioned it in the last one, this is supposed to hold 20 cigars. I think I could probably stuff 20 cigars in here, but won't be the best thing. But anyway, that's that. Thank y'all for tuning in. And uh, if you like the video, leave a like, comment, share, and We'll see y'all later. Thanks.